Hey everybody, we are going to make a simple trellis out of a cattle panel and some stakes. It's really easy, long lasting, and it only costs about 30 bucks to make one of these. So let's get down to business. If you can notice, it's snowing and I think it's like April 18th, 19th. So it's snowing in Western North Carolina, nothing crazy. I am a little bit worried about my peach trees and my apple trees. My apple trees are blooming. The peach trees have been blooming for a while. I hope this cold weather does not impact my fruit harvest. Our cherry tree over there is almost in full bloom, leafing out already, and we got a little bit of snow, so we'll see what happens. I put my jacket up or my coat up for the winter, and uh, I just dug it out of the closet. But first, I'm gonna let my goats eat all of the weeds in my garden. I did this a couple weeks ago. I thought I was gonna get planting done sooner than I did, but I haven't and the weeds have grown back up and I haven't had a chance to put some weed barriers in. So the goats are gonna clear my garden for me and then I'm gonna plant and build that arbor. So in the background, you can see a trellis that I already built. Um, really simple. This is really all you need to build one of these. You need a cattle panel. They are typically 16 feet long. I guess you can get them for eight feet long, but you can't really make a trellis with them. And they're anywhere from 36 to 50 inches. I believe these are 50 inches wide. Um, you need a T-post pounder, but really if you don't have one of these, which you may not, um, you can just use a mallet or a hammer. You need some T-posts. You don't even need some heavy duty T-posts. 
just short garden steaks. They cost about $2.50. You need four of them for every trellis section. And uh, you need some zip ties and that's it. So I'm gonna show you how easy this is. This is probably the easiest trellis in the world to make. And it's only 30 bucks. I'm basically done. And we're done. That was pretty easy. So I did make three sections of trellis. Each um, fence panel again is about 20 bucks. Um, I probably spent, I don't know, 65 bucks on everything. Maybe 70 bucks, I don't know. Uh, but this is a great trellis system for cucumbers, for beans for um, loofah, for birdhouse gourds. That's what I'm going to be using it for. You could also use this for grapes. There's lots of things. If it grows on a, on a trellis, you could use it. Now it does look a little uneven right here, but that's because I got a big pile of compost that I still need to um, sort out. I need to figure out where I'm putting that compost. This is my other trellis. And if you notice, I'm walking underneath them as a pathway. I'm trying to use my space efficiently. I have a lot of acreage, but I don't have a big garden. Um, it's like 35 feet by 27 feet, something like that. So I'm trying to make use of the space I have, and I probably will expand to a bigger garden one day, but this is great for, for right now. So I'm making use of my mulch pathways where I'm not growing anything. I'm not growing anything on the pathway, but I can grow over the pathway with these trellises. So as a bonus, um, I also have an extra cattle panel here just for growing more stuff. I'll probably grow peas and beans on this cattle fence panel. So use your ingenuity, uh, go to Tractor Supply, Rural King. You can get um, fence panels at a lot of places. If people around you have cattle, there's probably a place nearby that sells cattle fencing. So I hope this was informative. Hope um, this may have encouraged you to make your own trellis, but really it's super easy. You barely needed tools actually. So have a great day out there and keep on homesteading.